welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, a qualified teacher here in Norway. And in this video, I will share to you how to sound fluent in Norwegian. Because last year when I have my practice teaching, I have talked to some of the Norwegian teachers and one of them asked me how long have I lived here in Norway. And I said I have lived here for almost five years and she was shocked to hear that because she thought that I was born here in Norway because I sound fluent just like a local here. So now I will share you some of my secrets. Let's go. First one. If you will notice, Norwegian language has this kind of up down happy tone intonation. For example, I will introduce myself. Hi, jeg heter Donita. Jeg kommer fra Filippinene. Ja, hvordan går det med deg? So if you will notice, there is an up down happy tone intonation. Det går fint å snakke med deg. That is the that is the sample intonation that you will hear. So if you want to sound fluent, you must learn this happy tone up down intonation. Now let's move on to number two. You must learn most of the used words when having a conversation or small talks. For example, when someone is talking to you and you want to agree, you will say, Oh yeah, selvfølgelig. Ikke sant? Akkurat. So this kind of words is to agree and to say yes. Oh yeah. And if you will notice, when they used to answer, they used to breathe and then talk. Oh yeah. Nein. So that is a kind of weird thing that I've noticed to them when I am talking with Norwegian. But if I want to sound fluent, learn to do that. Oh yeah. Ikke sant? But then, you must keep in your mind that these words correspond indifferently. For example, if there is someone telling you about something that is sad or bad, you can use the word HUPDA. It means sorry to hear the Oh, STOKKORSDA. Yeah, like that. And now, let's move on to the third one. You must listen to podcasts, radio, news, watch TV, and lead book. It means listening to the books because I will give you this site, leadbook.online. It means listening to books online. So this is a free website. I will show on the screen this website lead book online it means listening to books online and you can listen to different genres of books free it is free yes i will put the link on the description below for you to visit it and if you will click the link you will see different genres of books for children's biography, facts or documentary, family and relation, fantasy, philosophy, history, science fiction, and sports, and more. So I will definitely recommend this with you all if you really want to learn Norwegian and to sound more fluent and to listen with different genres of books. This website is for free. You can listen to different types of book anywhere, wherever you want for free. Because when I used to go to a university, when I need to travel for almost two hours, I used to use my headphones like this and then listen to the books that I need for my course and then I think that this kind of website is really helpful if you want to be familiarized with some vocabulary words in Norwegian language and also with some of the dialects because in Norway they have many dialects and it is divided into four major dialects the Nordnorsk, the Trondesk, the Vestnorsk and Osnorsk so I will show you what is the meaning of those different dialects and those dialects was also divided into mini dialects. So there are lots of dialects in Norwegian. For example, me, I live here in Trondelag, so I have Trondish dialect. For example, we use the word a 
instead of for yai. For example, I will say, ah sham. It means yai komer. I will come. And then, ah shunne. It means yai for store. I understand in English. And then, ah oshkit. It means I don't like yai liker ikke. So that is a kind of Trondish dialect. So I admit to use this kind of dialect so I will sound like a local. Because if you sound like a local, then the Norwegian or Nordman will think, oh, she sound like a local. So it means that she was been here in Norway for long ago. That's why she sound fluent. That is one of my strategy that some of the Norwegian don't know. So that is a very one good tip for you. Visit this website and learn a lot of dialects and vocabulary words and expressions. So now, what is expression? In Norwegian, it is utrik. So they have lots of different expressions or idiomatic expressions that you can learn with different books. And then, for example, they have this kind of utrik or expression. Sofa gris, it means couch potato. They have also this heldi gris, it means very lucky or literally a lucky pig. Svin kalt, it means very cold. So they love to use some of the animals, for example, svin or pig, to use as an expression. So if you really want to sound fluent in Norwegian, you can use those kind of expression. For example, I go outside, it's pretty cold, it's winter, and I will say, oh, there's wind called hard. So it means it's pretty cold outside. That is the kind of expression that I used to use when I am talking with some of the Norwegians. And then the last but not the least is, is stop thinking on the other language that you know. So stop translating in your mind. Because when you used to translate, you used to stop for a while and then you know, translate to your head and then sometimes you will be out of your concentration. So in my experience, I used to think some words that is close or similar to a word that I want to say. For example, I want to say a glass of water at glass of one. So I need to think first what is inside this glass. It is a water. We used to drink it. So we bruker o drikke det. That are the words that I used to think first before thinking for the right translation in Norwegian. So you don't need to always, I don't know what is the meaning of light or lamp or lease in Norsk. You need to think first what are the similar words that is corresponding to that thing that you want to learn. So you don't need to, this is in English. Flowers, for example. This is flowers in English. What is this in Norwegian? So you don't need to think, oh, it is bloomster. You can you can think for other types of words, just like the color of those flowers. Rosa, rö, vit, orange. And then the smell of it, how it smell, it smell good, they look the go. Just like that. So you don't need to tend to think the right words exactly. Think the words that is similar to that word. Is that clear? <laughs> I hope that you understand my point that you don't need to translate everything in your mind because you will be sometimes will be out of focus. So stop thinking of a certain word that is the exact translation of that word that you want to translate in Norwegian language or in any other language. I used to think what are the words that is similar or synonym of that words that you can use to define what is the meaning of that word in Norwegian. As simple as that. And the last one is 
put an effort and practice on learning the Norwegian language. You can join Sprok Cafe or we can say place that you can drink coffee and talk with the native speakers of Norwegian. Before I used to join that but now because of the time and the pandemic they stopped those kind of things but some of them used to do a digital Sprok Cafe. So if you want and if you are a Filipina or a Filipino living in Norway and you want to join a Sprok Cafe, I used to do a digital Sprok Cafe together with some of my fellow Filipinos here in Norway. So you are pretty welcome in our group, Filipinas Learning Nosh. So I will just also put the link below for you to see it. And then another thing that I used to do is I used to fake it until I make it. There was a time that sometimes I don't understand, but I just used to do that. But if you are not quite sure, it is okay to admit that. Unshil, uh, you will say sorry. Yai for story ke. It means I don't understand. Can do yanta, can do repetere. It means can you repeat? Can you for clare or? It means, can you explain more? Can do for clare mer. So you can use those types of words or utrik to ask them what are they talking about to you. So don't be afraid to ask them because Norwegian are very kind and polite persons. They will surely love to help you because I've experienced all of that. So that's all. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And please do to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pinay Teacher in Norway. I will really appreciate it. It will help my YouTube channel a lot. And comment down below what are the things that you want to learn on learning Norwegian. And share my videos to some of your friends who you think will benefit on watching my video. And See you on my next video. Bye! Hadebra!